check out these cushions. This is probably the nicest set of cushions I've been on uh, to see in a 450. They have removable carpets, indoor outdoor carpets that are fantastic. It makes it look more like a yacht. You can take them off and shake them out. This one has an outdoor fridge to it. I like to cook and so does Robert. So we all both agree and have the drinks outside. Just a very, very nice setup here with an enclosure with eyes and glass as well as the screen. So Robert. So out here in the aft cockpit, a couple things that we did out here. One was adding the carpet, as Brent said, but one of the things that you can't see is that under the carpet, there's dry tech, which raises the actual carpet up about a half an inch so that any water that does come in here runs under the carpet, not necessarily, you know, wetting everything that does come in. So it does run under the carpet to all the drains. As Brent said, the cushions are all brand new, probably about six months old at this time, and just absolutely wonderful. What's a head? Looks like a heavy duty vinyl. It has a diamond pattern in it. Yes. The nice thing about these is you can take them off and put them inside very easily and they dry out very quickly, I'm assuming. Yep. That, and then also what we did with the enclosure back here with the eyes and glass, a couple things is one, we went with the U zip fold up screens so we can actually roll up the screens without taking down the entire section which makes it very nice, allows air to come through, but yet we can have our screens, which are removable as well. So we can either be completely open to the world or we can have our own secluded space in the back, our choice whatsoever. You can get up to the cockpit without getting all wet. Check that out. We did a full enclosure, both at the helm station and the aft cockpit, so that if you are in a bad weather situation, you can stay dry and you don't have to spend thousands of dollars on that foul weather gear. We're up here on the flybridge of the 450. This one does have a hard top on it. You can always tell when somebody takes care of their boat very nice. You can tell by the lines that they have on board how neat and tidy it is. You notice know, so this one does have electric winches. Best thing on a boat is an electric winch and an autopilot. Robert, I noticed you did a fantastic job wrapping the wheel. Yes, that was very time consuming. <laughs> but yes, I wrapped the wheel and I decided instead of having just a small centerpiece, I wanted my entire section covered to know when my rudders were straight. It does have all the standard B&G electronics. It does have a new quick chain counter for the anchor. As Brent said, with the hard top, which we just put on it with additional solar on top of the hard top. About a $20,000 upgrade, yeah? A little bit more than that with the, uh, with the enclosure. That. Yes. These are stainless steel, very much reinforced structures. Notice as we go through as well, all the lines are labeled for ease of sailing. A lot of questions I get is, you know, that you're separated on a flybridge from down below. And, you guys are a perfect example. You're a couple. How does it work for you guys when you're sailing or she's sailing? Especially with the enclosure, if you have it down, it's very easy to still communicate back and forth. If it's up, I mean, you have multiple access points, both port and starboard in and out um, to get anywhere you need. The one thing that I, one of the factors for me on why I, we wanted a 450, a couple big reasons. One, a lot of people say condo on the water. And for us, it truly is a condo on the water because we live on it and we wanted comfort. And the other thing I felt was a safety factor was that on a flybridge, I can see all four corners of my boat. A lot of people have headsets for communication. We do have those, but we found we don't use them that often because we don't need to. The other thing that we like, all the controls are here. In our case, it is a single-handed sailing. I do pretty much all of the line handling and everything else. My wife is along for the ride. As well as having the carpeting downstairs in the aft cockpit, we also brought that same carpeting up, up the stairs on both sides, all the way up to the fly station, just to help make it one cohesive unit. It does have dry tech underneath, and they're all cut specifically for the location. He does have a couple huge cushions up front there. They look a lot more comfortable than the regular stock cushions. We actually contracted to have the regular sun pad cushions up there, and then we came across these, and it was an immediate game changer. With these on board, we've had gusts a little over 40. They don't move whatsoever, they stay right there. When we've had family out there, um, I find myself and my wife sitting here at the helm going and they are lounged in those. That is their most comfortable place they want to be. Small things that Robert has done to the boat, like taking care of the lines, putting up the netting on the sides to keep valuable things on the boat rather than off the boat. You'll look forward and you'll see fairly new trampolines. These are upgraded trampolines, so I'll let Robert take it away from here. So for our anchor system, we did upgrade it to a mantis anchoring system, complete with a 105 pound mantis anchor, which is for this size vessel, it's considered a, a storm or hurricane anchor. Pretty much 
drop it and forget about it. You don't really have to worry about it after that. Between the anchor itself, the swivel, the Mantis bridle, absolutely fantastic. All brand new anchor chain, 300 feet, half inch G4 chain. You're just not gonna find a better setup, I believe, out there. All brand new cushions. Every cushion on the boat was redone. Helm station, aft cockpit, forward cockpit, brand new mattresses. You have two very cavernous storage lockers up front on the boat where all the fenders and things are stored. I added solar lights that go up the mast on both sides. So you have blue lights, there's six lights on both sides that go up the mast. It helps set you apart in the anchorage so when you're coming home from a beach party at that secluded island, it helps you identify which boat is yours. So one of the electrical things we did beside all the solar upgrades, so we have about 3,000 watts of solar on board and 2,400 amp hours of lithium batteries. A couple people have asked me if I'm a, a little nuclear power plant because I have so much power, but that's all about being comfortable. Being able to run my air conditions, everything on the boat, air conditioners, water maker, washer dryer, dryer specifically, because my wife, she does not like to put things out, but I did make a little clothesline system for her for those some items that she will put outside but you know to be able to run out that all off of batteries and not have to start up a generator is absolutely a wonderful thing uh, we do have a generator on board and it's it's great it will supply power to everything but other than starting it up for maintenance checks and just to make sure everything is running perfectly i don't use it so five panels across the back, each one of those at about 415. I have four panels on top of the hard top, four flex panels on top of the salon as well. On the hard top in the salon, they are flex panels because you do get up there and walk around, so you don't have to worry about breaking things as easy. That gives you the solar, and it also protects your dinghy against the UV rays, and UV rays are wicked nasty when it comes to the rubber seams. And I've never seen one dinghy besides this one right now that, that has maintained keeping air for any length of time. One other thing that he's done out here that I very much like, an outside shower. So we actually integrated this uh, wet pipe into our arch with a shower set up. Also put in another separate pump out here so I can have the normal boat, normal operating condition come back, hit a switch right here and I have fresh water to stand here and take a shower. One last thing I wanted to point out was the extra storage for the much needed fishing poles. And then of course my clothesline system, so I can put anything that I do want to hang dry, I can put on this, and then I can actually take it and bring it out over here so it's out, out of my walkway and it's not causing any inconvenience. This Rig 10 was actually a great find for us. So it has a, a 24 horsepower Suzuki, but the one thing that it's actually awesome about it, it has all the hydraulic trim, and everything else so I don't have to manhandle anything. The steering, having the, the sport console is wonderful. Very easy to control for my wife instead of a typical tiller outboard. Also added the Bimini top. It does have a, a radio as well. So, you know, when you're out there, you can also have your own radio set up in your dinghy as you're out putzing around. All right, when, again, you guys are seeing it with the dinghy on board, but when the dinghy's not here, uh, the aft part of the boat becomes your focal point when it comes to water sports. One of the last things I did want to share with you, the bulkheads have been indeed fixed on this particular boat. Uh, it was done by Multitech there in Fort Lauderdale. It does come with that year warranty. I think you'll find what we found to be one of the, the premier 450s on the market. Thanks for looking.